Over the weekend, I raced with Skechers Multisport Canada well and long course triathlon. It's a bit of a unique distance. It's a two kilometer swim, 56 kilometer bike, and 15 kilometer run. It's my first time doing the well and long course race and first time doing a race of those distances. So overall, uh, the race was a bit of a mixed bag of results. Felt good in the swim, I had a really lousy bike, and then I felt absolutely amazing out on the run course. So in the swim, uh, it's in the Welland International Flatwater Center, which is uh, a legacy of the 2015 uh, Pan Am Games. And it's almost like swimming in a kilometer long pool. Uh, the shore is never very uh, far from you. There's distance markers along, uh, along the shore. There's cables uh, to help guide you under the water so you don't really have to sight too much. I felt like I got off to a really good start and was able to hold a, uh, a good pace. I had some feet to follow early on, but uh, I quickly lost them. But with the uh, cable to guide me, uh, I just really focused on, uh, uh, on my own swim and not trying to find any other feet. Once I uh, got out onto the bike, right away I felt, uh, I could tell that my legs felt flat. I tried to force the issue, hoping that they would come to life in the first uh, 10 or 15 kilometers, but they just didn't have any sort of pop. So heading into the race, I figured that easily I'd be able to hold 280 watts, um, maybe even 290 or closer to 300. But ultimately I ended up averaging uh, about 255 watts, which is pretty close to my goal Ironman pace. So that was a little bit discouraging. The, uh, the bike's a relatively flat course. We had a bit of a headwind on the way out, so a bit of a tailwind coming back. And uh, so I really wasn't looking forward to the run. But once I got into transition, put my shoes on, my legs suddenly felt amazing. So um, I went out onto the run course and my original goal was to uh, cover the 15K um, in about 57 minutes. So three five kilometer laps of each um, 19 minutes. But uh, right away, my legs felt really light. The pace was coming to me really easy. And uh, I just started ticking off kilometers at closer to 340 per kilometer pace and was able to just keep that up. And um, not that I necessarily could have run much faster, but the pace came very easy to me throughout the run. And it's something that I definitely love to be able to bottle up and, uh, and use in future triathlons. I was able to pass Nigel Gray, who uh, had been the leader for most of the race at about 8k into the run, and uh, was able to hold that position uh, right through to the finish. So I was really happy to uh, get the win in Welland, especially based on how I felt on the bike. I, uh, I definitely didn't expect it. So uh, overall, it was a pretty good race. Um, definitely have a bit more work to do on the bike before Lake Placid but uh, the way that I felt in the swim and the run is definitely very encouraging. In terms of the event on a whole, it was a, uh, it was a really well run race. Uh, they had a great turnout for some really good competitive racing. If, uh, if you're someone who's not necessarily the most comfortable swimmer, the swim venue is about as good as it can be. It's almost like a uh, kilometer long pool because with the rowing basin, you're never very far from the shore. There's uh, some cables that help you with sighting under the water. Uh, also, uh, really excited to be a Skechers Multisport Canada Ambassador this year. So I'm planning on being at a number uh, of the other races throughout the season. I think Kingston Long Course is going to be the next race that I'm going to be at. Then hopefully Toronto Island, which is just over my shoulder behind me, if, uh, if it ever dries out. And then, uh, and then maybe the Wasega race as well. I had the chance to talk to John Salt, who is the race director and runs uh, the Skechers Multisport Canada Series after the race to uh, chat to him a little bit about both uh, the race in Welland and some of the other uh, things he has coming up with the series this year. How did the race today go? The, the race today was phenomenal. The race yesterday was phenomenal. I mean, this venue is, is probably one of the best in Ontario. And as anybody who's uh, lived in Ontario this spring knows, we haven't had two back-to-back -back days of good weather. As it turned out, we had two excellent days of weather. So it was, it was phenomenal, and, and uh, by all accounts, all the athletes really loved it. That's great. So looking forward with the Multisport Canada Series, uh, what, uh, what do you uh, have in store for the rest of the year? 
Well, I mean, so far it's quite interesting. We, we did reduce the number of events this year, and, and we, there was some logic behind that. We were hoping that some of the venues that uh, had some potential for growth uh, would, would see that growth, and that seems to be the case. Every race uh, in the series is up so far, as far as year to date. Uh, uh, numbers and registration. The big thing for us, I mean, we want to keep doing what we do and that's take care of athletes and make sure they have a great environment and a great atmosphere at the races. So really nothing's changing there. The really big one for us this year, I think, that we're hoping will really come around is Barrel Man. It's had record numbers. It's been the the highest non-70.3 half iron distance for the last couple of years in North America at 800 people. And it looks like we're going to hit 1,000. So we're really excited about that. Perfect. Thanks a lot for watching this week's video. If you like what you see, please click the subscribe button down below. And until next time, happy training. Oh, this new crazy mother.